Hi everyone, I'm Dina Proctor, author of Madly Chasing Peace and creator of 3x3 Meditation. One of the themes that has been coming up for me a lot lately is um, living on a need-to-know basis and living in a place of surrender. So I wanted to make this video to share this with you because it's something that is so important for us to be able to remember. It's a true change in the way that most of us live. Most of us use our brains and our logical minds and our practical reasoning skills to navigate through our lives rather than recognizing that there's a greater source of power, peace, and wisdom, that voice of intuition, that whisper of, you know, kind of God's guidance that is going on and being broadcast inside of us, within us at every moment. But sometimes our, the reason that we feel unhappy or we feel dissatisfied is because we think that we need to know where we're going. We want to predict. We say, okay, if this happens and that happens, and what if I do this? You know, we play what I call mental chess. You know, when you're playing chess, you have a strategy of your own, you know, kind of characters on the board, what you want to do. But you also kind of have to be in the opponent's head thinking, well, if if he does this, then I'm going to have to do that. And we have this whole strategy, this whole strategic game that we play in our lives. That's really how we live our lives is trying to feel safe by being able to predict where we're going and where our decisions and our thoughts are going to take us. And so living on a need to know basis is really living in the space of faith. It's living in the space of, I don't know where the bigger picture is leading me but I don't need to know that. All I need to know is where I'm going right now, what right or left turn I need to take in this moment to advance me to the next place. You know, it's the it's the analogy that I've heard from a number of spiritual teachers where if you're driving across the country, you know, you could be driving from New York to Los Angeles and you don't have to know the right and left turns that you're going to take when you get to Colorado or Kansas or, you know, wherever that middle point is. What you need to know is what right or left turn do I need to take right now to get me out of this block and to get me out of this neighborhood and to get me out of this city? What do I need to know right now? What what right and left turn, what yes or no decision do I need to make in this moment to advance me toward the goal and trusting that the decision that you make right now will then lead you to a place where you're at a place where you make a different decision and you have different guidance taking you to that next step. So that's what the space of being on a need-to-know basis is. Your GPS can get you all the way across the country, but your GPS is just going to feed you the information as you need to know it. You don't need to know the right and lefts in Colorado until, you know, a few days later when you're actually there. So trusting that when you get to Colorado, the guidance will be there to take you, but that you don't need to know that quite yet. That's the space of surrender. That's the space of freedom. That's the space of being on a place where you are trusting inner guidance. You know that the solutions are there and all you need to know right now is what is the best thing for me, the best thing to say, the best person to call, the best food to eat, the best activity to get into. What is the best choice where I can focus my energy right now in trusting that if I do that and honor and listen to that guidance right now, that a moment from now, a day from now, a week from now, that same guidance will keep taking me where I want to go. So it's as good for me to hear it. You know, I need to hear this too all the time to remind myself that there is that that greater guidance and to tap into that. So um, whenever I kind of feel like I need to hear something again or express something, I trust that somebody else needs to hear it too. So I hope that this is helpful for you on your journey as well. Thank you for tuning in.